I am so thankful for being alive. Today was a good day. I opened my eyes. What's the deal, y'all? Y'all know me, I'm Perky. And Honey B. <laughs> and we back at it again with another video. We have 10 strange phenomena. I don't know. <laughs> That's what y'all did. <laughs> And she's she gonna make me say the title. Phenomena? In the sky caught on camera. Is that phenomena or phenomenon or phenomeny or phenomenon? No. Phenomenal. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. And if my shirt's wet, it's my hair. Mind your business. That's all. Um, hey. If you don't gotta be long, leave her alone. Thank you very much. Okay, care about nobody, kids. Right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Whoa. There are some natural she phenomena had on that we socks. cannot possibly begin to I've explain. I've seen that before. I've before. We see these I've phenomena when we look up at the sky. I'm lying. There are ten phenomena in the sky. Phenomena. The camera that we can't explain. Why are you spelling so wrong? For number three on this list, some say that it may be a portal to another dimension. Oh heck no! Number ten. Flight eight to eight. Brazil. I'm getting calling. There are lots of scary things. They're gonna pick up. Skeletons I'll slap you. Pretty scary. Ghouls too are definitely terrifying, and vampires are probably the scariest things ever. However, a sky that's red with blood may be scarier than all these things combined. Red with blood? And that is what some people in Brazil have to contend with. We don't know the year or time this video was recorded, but we do know that it has been making the rounds on the internet. Some YouTubers have come out to say that it's fake because there's only been one source for the video. And while mm, we, I get that. Agree, we can't say for sure, it may be fake. Or I've seen this guy. Remember in Mexico, this guy looked like that. It was so weird. It was nice. It was a lot. In real life, we certainly have more questions than answers regarding it. Right, right, right. Number nine. That one wasn't bad. Red sprites. If you thought sprites. red clouds were scary, wait till you see what red sprites are. The scary thing about these sprites is that they don't show up in the sky in regular that looks conditions. Like? They're scary. Instead, they show up during. They're like stretch sports. marks. That way, they are able to carry a more ominous feel than normal. <laughs> but what are these sprites in the first place? Well, they're a large-scale electrical discharge that occur high above thunderstorm clouds, or cumulonimbus, giving rise to a oh, quite what very range of That's a cloud. flickering in the night Don't sky. ask me how I know that. They're usually <laughs> triggered by the discharges of positive lightning between an underlying... Why do you know that? <laughs> they appear as luminous reddish-orange flashes, and they often occur in oh, clusters above the troposphere at an altitude range of 50 to 90 kilometers. It took over a century he did for the too first much. to be captured in a video, and that happened in 1989, this video boring. Scientists from the University of Minnesota, <laughs> and they have subsequently been captured by other. Apparently not. He has over two million times. views. <laughs> Some people sometimes inaccurate. Like nerds like you. Why you name a cloud? Lightning. However, that's wrong. They're cold plasma phenomena that lack the hot channel temperatures of tropospheric lightning. So they're more akin to fluorescent tube discharges than to lightning discharges. So if you see a sprite during a storm, don't be scared. There's no UFO battle in the sky. It's just normal storm stuff. Number eight, the red moon. They ain't never had to do that. The moon <laughs> What's is not red. It could be white, it could be gray, it could be grayish white. Or certainly Bad. not red. However, sometimes it does look red, and sometimes that gets caught on camera, like in this video. There are two general explanations for the red moon. The first is that it's what happens when the moon goes through a total lunar eclipse. The red hue that you can see is actually due to the red edge of Earth's shadow, which is reflected onto the moon. They always lie about something That's in science. That's not why. The second is more mythical and is generally rejected by the scientific community. <laughs> oh my community. god. It's that the red moon is a symbol of malevolence. The Inca people of South America believe that the deep red coloring is a jaguar attacking and eating the moon. That's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? <laughs> Was but it serious? No, 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 no Rahu swallows the moon. Yeah, Alright, get to, get to the, the next moon. one. Number eight or seven. The scientific explanation Six. or the mythological one. Number seven. Sun pillars. This is one phenomena that you may have seen several times. Sun pillars oh, nice. are vertical shafts of light that extend upward from Look a Look how the sun goes. The sun goes like this. Sun or other bright light low on the horizon. They could be oh, five to you ten be at the beach, tall you see and that? sometimes even higher. They might lengthen or brighten as you gaze at them. 
However, several sources Ooh, have said like that? colors are not just Aesthetic. normal natural occurrences, that instead they're evidence of UFOs. Crazy, right? Well, a lot of people believe that. They think that these sun colors are evidence of UFOs beaming down and abducting people. It would be a crazy theory if so many people didn't believe it. So what do you think? Do you think sun colors are just regular things? Or do you think that they're evidence of aliens? Let us know in Who the comments. Who freaking cares? Number six. <laughs> Asperatus. This video oh, was look at that! It shows the clouds rolling. Oh, oh heck no! Very strange formation. He said the clouds are rolling. Bro, I would tell you something right now. Oh, and not be flying on a plane that day. <laughs> it's one of the strangest cloud formations we've ever seen. Oh, that's the different. Rolled across yeah, the sky no. as the sun set behind a thunderstorm, leaving the city look at below. Look that! Oh, it's for a thunderstorm. And we never seen it. Clouds, it's gonna be they're not all that yeah, strange. We're from California. In fact, this cloud formation is called Asperatus. The Asperatus is a kind of cloud formation that looks like a wave. Oh, heck no. It's officially called the Undulatus Asperatus. That's like cool, but... And it definitely no. looks like something you may see in a movie or yeah. something of that sort. The cloud was recently added to the official classification of clouds in 2017. Before then, it was an unexplainable phenomenon that may even be called a trick of video editing. you know how scary that is? However, to have a storm above your head and under? No, ma'am. It's a sort of I'm clouds cool. exist and are not a trick of video editing. Yeah, that Number sucks five. to have both. Nope. Spooky lights. Early in 2020, Tim Walker and his daughter Carolyn were taking their trash to the end of their driveway in the village of Bethel when something strange happened. Something like that. Just beyond their house, flashes started to come up in the sky. The flashes started before they even noticed, and it was caught by their doorbell camera. When they noticed the flashes in the sky, they paused and stared. It obviously took them by surprise. When Carolyn saw the flashes, she told her dad to look up at it. Hey, the dog, no! Show. Like, what y'all doing? The flushes, he put the trash can down to stare at it. It clearly spooked him, as it was such a strange sight to see. The footage shows red, orange, and purple light filling the sky oh. in the distance as cars move along a road in the foreground. That's crazy. What do you think of the source of the light? Do you think it was natural, or was it something else? Mm -hmm. For four. Ring of Darkness. Yeah, this no. This ring was Reminds reported ring. captured by a 16-year-old schoolgirl with her smartphone after she played tennis with her mother. It was reported that the ring remained in the sky for about three minutes before it what vanished the into thin air. There have been a lot of theories concerning the origins of the ring. Some say the video was edited and this is a fake video. However, others say that the video oh, looks pretty authentic. The video wobbles, so this it is fake? has that natural or organic look. No, he the said people... Looks very wait, I've said that wrong. <laughs> Just, I saw people always think somebody lying. I figured that's what I think signs be lying, but that's... What the freak? What the freak? Have I seen that? It hasn't been put forward. Pass away. Pass away. Pass away. Pass away. No, no. That was not no freaking firework. Number three. Russian flash. What that mean? The bright yellow glow lasted for about 11 seconds before it disappeared. Russian authorities didn't comment on the video, leaving conspiracy theorists to run wild with crazy no. ideas. In 2014. Some said it was aliens, while others said that a <gasps> Bro, remember we seen that in the sky? Bro, no, we seen- I was out- Hey, that's I remember not that. alive, bro. That, 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 that happened for, for us for, According like, two, two months ago. Neither meteorologists nor some... scientists can explain the strange phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> remember? It was, like, two months ago. Which one are you talking about? I thought Don't we were talking about- What are you talking about? I thought we were talking about the one where, like, I was out- like I was out. No, bro. I'm talking about the one where we was driving from Auntie House. We was coming back home. Remember, we was just talking. I said, "Oh, <laughs> bro, I thought you. Were, I thought you were talking about the other one when we was in the." No, we, that was that solar eclipse thing they be trying to yeah, say. Yeah, that, I yeah. So you talking? About, I forgot about that. Yeah, we was we was long story short, we were driving and the thing just. Yeah, it was some crazy. Yeah, and then we watched the movie. The day we. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm sorry, I got the stories mixed up. We we didn't see the lot. So what was it? I mean, we don't know. Now it's time for today's best pick. This better be the best thing ever. Our picture today was sent in by a subscriber. Remember, if you come across <laughs> a picture on that, like no its origins, you can send it in to us. Who knows? Your picture may even get featured in a future video. Oh, how Number cool! Two. This may I was like, oh, like Mr. MP333. Oh, okay. <laughs> the most you know who that is? Phenomenon on this him. list. Why? Well, the scientific community recognizes that it happens, but they don't know how or why. Basically, it's an unexplained phenomenon described as luminescent spherical objects that vary from pea size to several meters in diameter. They're said to I'm last sorry. way longer real? than lightning I don't bolts. know. Some even say they tend to explode midair and leave a smell of sulfur behind. Laboratory experiments today. So it just gets smaller than it gets big. Yeah, no, we're not. Like. But 
how these relate to the supposed phenomenon remains unclear. So scientists don't have any idea of what they're dealing with yet. Oh, what we seen was not a shooting on, star. I've got a little challenge for you that'll take so five seconds to complete. Don't even think about how to correct so, it. <laughs> you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification. Yeah, Wait, you, why did he stop at two? Because no, he didn't. He's doing uh, self advertising. Actually called circum horizontal arcs. Yep, but turn the video off. That was not freaking rainbows. interesting. <laughs> the misleading term fire rainbow is sometimes used to F describe plus. the phenomenon. Although it's <laughs> neither a rainbow nor related in any way to fire, the term That's normal, isn't it? Oh, I guess for this. In the occasional appearance How of the arcs as flames yes. in the sky. When it occurs she in is not impressed, like, at all. Because it's but not that enthusiastic, like, you know what I mean? So what are fire rainbows? They're basically optical phenomena that cool. belong to the family of ice halos formed by the refraction of the sun. Or they always lie about something. You know, in the no. atmosphere, typically in cirrus or cirrostratus clouds. I don't and know if I've seen that before. Maybe I have. If you They're extremely video, rare. How do you see like it? And subscribe to the channel. We have lots of great show twelve different pictures. They're extremely rare. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, guys. <laughs> Look, something but different, no. something new, like a little different vibes to the channel. Yeah, again. I'm sorry I had to do that to y'all. Never again. Uh, I kind of like Trash out. I, oh, you I, did? I thought it was kind of cool. She lying. We don't turn off the camera, but I don't like that. Watch. Bro. <laughs> nah, this one, I mean, it wasn't bad. I like to see the new stuff. I ain't going to count. I ain't going to count. I'm you, the, the real is on me. I don't like that video on me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because they capped. I don't know. Brittany, but look, we love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Wow, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. So much more. Like like comment, subscribe down below. All our social media description down below. And right here, why you not do it? Shoot! On the way, baby. Y'all know when I start touching my face, y'all know what I'm about to say. We lie, baby. Yeah.